So now, if everyone would, please raise a glass and join with me in celebration. Alyssa and BJ, may your path through life be clear and unfettered. May your burdens be light and few. May your journey together be long, prosperous, and joyful. And most of all, may you forever remain authentic to yourselves and each other. Today is an exciting day because not only has everybody gathered, but we've gathered to celebrate the love of God that has brought you two to this day and to each other. Now BJ told me that immediately when he, he met Alyssa, he liked her. We were both in high school and uh... I remember first meeting Alyssa, she, she hopped in the vehicle that, that we were riding back to the, uh, the cabin in, and uh, both our uh, family friends, her family friends invited her, my family friends invited me, um, and it was like a little annual trip they did every year, but uh, she hopped in the back of me and I just, as soon as I saw her, I thought, wow, she's beautiful. Meanwhile, years pass and they both go to college. BJ heads to North Greenville and Alyssa heads off to UNC Greensboro. And during that time, BJ told me he dated a few people, but nothing really clicked. They weren't the right one. In fact, when he graduated, he got to the point where he was so fed up with the dating game that he told me he prayed to God and he said, Lord, you're just gonna have to shove the right girl in my face because I am tired of this. And one month later, after he prayed that prayer, Alyssa poked BJ on Facebook. <laughs> one day I saw, um, I saw him and he kept posting a picture and you know, I really liked it and I was like, you know, I just, I'm struck by this guy and how he looks and you know, and I'm sure he has a good heart too. And you know, so I poked him on Facebook. <laughs> oh, Facebook. Um, you know, we got a poke war for a couple of days and I had messaged him, I was like, you're not gonna win this poke war, which is totally true to how we are today. I'm very competitive, very, you're not gonna win, I am, but you know, and he was like, oh, you just wait, you know. That started the process of them reconnecting. Now, just to show you how God works sometimes, the other thing that happened in the meantime is that Alyssa's grandparents moved here to Greenville. So all of a sudden, Alyssa had a good excuse to come to the upstate, and BJ had a good excuse to try to get together with Alyssa. She was actually down one Christmas visiting her uh, grandparents. And that's when I was like, well, I, if there's ever a better opportunity, I, I need to ask this girl out and uh, on a date. So, you know, I, I, uh, I asked her and she, she said yes. And I went to pick her up at her grandparents. I mean, the rest is history. We fell, I mean, we fell in love instantly with each other. Why don't we go to dinner? You know, we can go to dinner and a movie and we'll see what we can, what we can get into. And I was like, well, do you like sushi? He's like, oh yeah, definitely. He liked California rolls to start with. <laughs> that was great. Um, but we went on the sushi date and I promise you like we, we ate a roll a piece. I was so nervous. He came and like, he got me from my grandparents' house the day after Christmas. And he, we were so nervous about this date. Like he and I both ate one roll each. And today we can crush like three or four rolls. It's great. Um, and we went and ate sushi. We hit it off immediately. Like we talked the entire time. Their first date lasted for four hours because their conversation came so easily. And they said it was, it was just natural from the beginning and they could not wait to see each other again. You know, I went from fishing every weekend to all my buddies and they were all like, oh, you done got a girl, got a girl. And uh, I told them, this just isn't some girl. I told them from the beginning, I said, this one's different. 
I said, this is probably the one I'm gonna marry, if she'll have me. <laughs> By New Year's, BJ was on his way to meet Alyssa's mom. So he came up, he met my mom, um, he stayed with us for a couple of days, and you know, we, met, we went to Verley's downtown and celebrated the new year, and then, um, you know, and he didn't kiss me on, his, our, on their first New Year's together, it's fine. Still, he still regrets it to this day, and I know it. By March, he had met her dad, and also BJ's family had met and fallen in love with Alyssa. And I, I told my parents, I was like, you know, y'all have, y'all love her. And I mean, she's hit it off with my family, my parents, everybody from day one. A couple months later, you know, he, he was like, hey, you're going on spring break. You want to come down for, um, for a couple of days to meet my family, let them get to know you and everything. And I was so nervous. I was running late. Like I was like, I gotta go get my nails done. They looked horrible. But all these things, it was just, it was one of those things where I was like, I'm meeting his family, like this is insane. I'm meeting him for four days. Like, oh gosh, what if I don't like it? Um, but it was just, I felt like I felt at home from the beginning. It was so great, it was so great. And that's how I've always felt with him is just, I've, Ever since we went on our first date, it was just, I was at home with him. You know, I felt at, I felt whole and I felt like at peace and I was home when I was around him and um, still feel it to this day. He's still, he is still my, my person. He's still the one that I go to, to talk about anything. He is my home. Um, he's perfect for me. That's what I love about her. She'll love anybody, and, and no matter where you're from, who you are. And that's, that's what makes her beautiful to me. Um, she's beautiful on the outside uh, in every way, but it, the inside is what counts for me. And uh, she's gorgeous just for that very purpose. She'll love anybody and just shows you your heart. She'll wear a heart on her sleeves, and uh, that's just an awesome woman couldn't ask for a better person to marry. The next year, August 2018, while Alyssa was working an internship at Biltmore House, BJ surprised her there with a horse-drawn carriage, a photographer dressed up disguised as a tourist, a ring, and a question. BJ and Alyssa, you may now seal this covenant with a kiss. It is my privilege to introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. B.J. Norris. I'd like to welcome your bride and groom. Mr. Bruce Norris Jr. and Alyssa Norris.
we want a, a love that everybody talks about. Like our, we always talk about our grandparents and how they've been married for so long. And, and we always look back on that and we say, you know, we want that to be our kids and our grandkids saying that about us one day. Like they really love each other. Look how long they've been together, you know? And, uh, and it's just awesome to have a, a person like that you can you can say you're gonna go through life with like that, you know?